Not back from uh, from work yet? She's busy ruining my life right now. Ruining your life? She told me that it was your idea. What are you talking about? My mother is seeing Mr. Rockefeller right now. She's going ahead and canceling my contract with him. <laughs> You're out of your mind, woman. Maybe I am. <laughs> so do you take the money and keep your mouth shut? <laughs> or do you want to die? You are bluffing. <laughs> you haven't got the nerve to pull that trigger. Sure I do. <laughs> and if you come any closer, I will. <laughs> You're too soft on a big tanner. You are too soft to shoot anybody, let alone me. <laughs> now, come on. Give me that pistol. Come Stop, on. Billy. So then she barges in and she starts ordering me around like I don't even have the brain of a two-year-old. Sorry, I had no idea she was going over there. Why did you have to get her so stirred up about it? You know, Mr. Rockefeller is not trying to take advantage of me. You're right. I should have discussed it with you. Well, it's too late now. Emily Ann, please, I want you to understand. Your mom and I were just trying to protect you. Before a person signs anything, they should take it over to a lawyer so that they can look through it. Just to make sure that they're not signing their life away. From what I understand, your dad also had some reservations about that contract. Mr. Rockefeller is a really, really good friend of mine, Dr. Tyler. If my mother goes down there and throws a fit, I'm going to lose my job. Okay, okay. Now, if Mr. Rockefeller is as fair-minded as you say he is, well, he'll understand that you're too young to sign that kind of an agreement. You will. If I get fired because of this, I'm not going to be able to forgive either one of you. Emily Ann. Emily Ann. Could you put me through to uh, Mr. Rockefeller's room, please? Hello? Uh, Donna? How did you know I was here? Well, I'm over at your apartment, and Emily Ann told me where you were. Would it help if I came over there and talked no, to you? No, no, I can, I can handle it. Thank you. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. Now, I'll be home soon. All right, I'll, I'll wait here. Okay, great. I'll uh, see you when I get there. Oh. Look what you've done to my tie on these polyester. Now you put that thing away before somebody you gets there. You still think I don't have the nerve to kill you? You do 25 years to lie for it. 25 to life. I just tell him it was self defense. Heck, Billy, with your record, no jury in the world would convict me. 25 years. Self defense. What was I threatening you with? With a, with a, with a lasagna? Hey. All right. All right. Let me tell you. No, no, no judge takes life to a woman packing firearms. No, sir. Especially when the, the pistol that Mama's packing ain't registered. And that one ain't registered, I'll, I'll bet you. 25 to life. I Hard don't rock, care. Man. Be worth it. At least Emily Ann would never know the truth about her real father. I love that child. I love that child more than life itself. I loved Estelle. Only I, I lost myself in my passion to, to, to my wife. Um, but it would make Estelle happy. It would even undo some of, the, some of the wrong I'd done to her. If I could show to our child a little paternal love. Nice speech, Billy. Too bad I don't believe a word of it. Now, do you take the money and keep your trap shut about being Emily Ann's real father, or do I fire again? And, Billy, this time, I promise you, 
I'm not gonna miss. So what's it gonna be, Billy? You gonna keep your yap shut or not? Your money for my life, huh? I'm thinking. You I'm thinking. Think hard. It's a lot of money. Where'd you get that money? None of your business. Like hell it ain't. It's a federal offense to go around passing dirty dollars. I do not favor going to Joliet, thank you. How do you know that some of them presidents ain't been, ain't been uh, eyeballed, huh? I go to the Mercado, try to pass some of them bad boys. The Federalists come swoop me up, take me right off to the Joliet. Take it or leave it, Billy. I will leave it till you tell me from I got it, source, time. all right, and her money. <laughs> that, that money is not marked. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Nicholson Nickleby. It's the crusty Duchess. <laughs> yeah, good old Dr. Charles's grandma. Where'll she get off giving you that kind of cash? Never mind, just forget it. No, no, you tell me, girl. I mean, <laughs> heck, either I say no, you shoot me dead right on the bed, or you and I enter into an unholy alliance, in which case you would best trust me. Oh. Uh. She, she paid me to break up with her grandson, all right? Are you satisfied? Where else in the world am I going to get that kind of cash? Hold on. You scribing a dear truck with her? I break the engagement tonight, and I get the rest of the money after I do it. You're serious about this, aren't you? By golly, you are. And you love that man, too. I mean, this would be harder than the hardest thought to be, darling. This would be so unnecessary. Emily Ann's happiness is the most important thing in my life, and I will do anything to protect it. Yeah. Yeah, I believe you would. So do we have a deal? <laughs> Lord, Lord. After all these years as Beck's bad boy. All right, Donna. Well, you got a deal. You swear. All right. I swear upon a grave in the memory of my beloved honey still that I will never tell our daughter that she is my flesh and blood. Now the contract. The, the contract. contract. All right, the contract. Oh, this sweet contract. I'll tear it up, but she goes on working for me at the Cyclops. No. Yes, she does. All right, no deal. No, no. Deal. Billy Clyde, I cannot let you anywhere near her. That is non-negotiable. I love that child, and that child loves me, and the child loves working at Cyclops. You best take with what you got, or else you got to kill me. But if you ever, ever go back on your word and say anything to Emily Ann about being her father, I will kill you without batting an eyelash. And I swear that on the grave and the memory of Estelle. Yeah, she's in her room. Emily Ann? I'm trying to stay. I thought you might like to know that I had a real good talk with Mr. Rockefeller. About what? About how you don't trust me? No, honey. About the 
objections I had to that manager's contract. I, I told him that I was having second thoughts and he was real nice about it. Which means what? He tore up the contract. Mission accomplished, Mom. Sweetheart, please wait. Baby, you're just too young to be focusing all your attention on a career. That's all there is to it. I know, I know right now it looks to you like music is the only thing in your life. But, oh, baby, there's this huge, incredible world out there. I just, I want you to be able to explore all the opportunities. It is not smart of you to, to tie yourself down like that. So you got the perfect solution. Now I have no job, nowhere to sing, no contract. No, wait a minute. You still have your job, and uh, Mr. Rockefeller still wants you and Charlotte to sing. Well, that's a surprise. Baby, why can't you understand? I'm doing this for you. Because you are trying to wreck everything that I have been working for, Mother. Excuse me. What am I going to do with that? Just give her some time. She hates me. But she doesn't hate you, honey. She's just upset about the contract tonight. She'll get over it. Come on. Come on. Let's go to dinner so you can forget about this. Chuck, uh... We gotta talk. Sure, we'll talk over dinner. Come on. No, this is important. No, 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 no. It's important for us. You'll have my full attention as soon as we get to the Valley Inn. No, look, we... And then we can talk. I want you to try to relax, okay? And enjoy yourself for the day, all right? Oh, well, hi, hi there, you two. Boy, hey, I hear the congratulations are <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah you're a very you. lucky man. You get a very wonderful one. Oh, you can say that again. Well, uh, shall we? Yes, please. <sighs> oh, well, good luck, you two. Yeah, okay. Hello, Grandmother. Hello, Langley. Well, look who's here, Chuck Donna. Hi, nice Professor. to see you, nice to dear. See you. Mm, won't you join us? Uh, no, thanks. I want this young, beautiful woman all to myself tonight. <laughs> well, I don't blame you there, right, Edith? Uh, well, we practically finished eating anyway. Well, if you'll excuse us then. Certainly, certainly. Oh, okay. Good evening. Good evening. Would either of you like something to drink to start? Uh, Donna? Oh, I, uh, mineral water, please. And I'll have the same. And could you bring, uh, the, uh, assortment of, uh, appetizers along with the drinks? Why, certainly. Uh, and I'll let you have a look at these oh, in the meantime. Okay. Thank you. Donna? I uh, what? Okay, now tell me, what did you want to talk to me about that's so important? All My Children will continue in a moment. I've, um, I've been doing some thinking. About Emily Ann? About us. So I believe me. No, Chuck, it's it's about our wedding date. Do you know, I can't wait. It seems like uh, June is an eternity. You don't understand. Do you want to move it up? I mean, if you're willing to do that, so am I. Oh, you can move up the you, date. You really are making this so hard for me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, I'm just starting to wonder if maybe we're not rushing things. Rushing? Well, you know, wouldn't you like some more time, to, you know, time to figure out whether this is really what you want? Honey, I love you, and I've been away from you for too long as it is. What is bothering you? Well, well, think about when we were married before. Both of us we were so miserable. And we are not going to make that same mistake. I'm not going to do it, and I, I know that you're not. Okay, fine. What about... Emily Ann, uh, you saw how upset she was, and she needs oh. time, don't you think, to, to, to get used to honey, things. Honey, honey, she was upset tonight because of the contract, but she'll get over that. She said herself that she was looking forward to the wedding. 
Ah. I know what's worrying you. You do? Pre-nuptial jitters. It's perfectly normal behavior. Everybody gets it at times. You know, when they're... Oh. Here we are. Thank you very much. Oh, those look delicious. Uh, would you care to order? Uh, I think we, uh, we need a couple of minutes. Don't mind. Oh, sir. Well, I guess we better look at these, huh? Well, I don't think I have to. I'm going to have the soul. You know what I'm gonna have? I'm gonna wait on ordering dinner, and I am going to have a bottle of your best champagne. I feel like celebrating. Yes, sir. Honey, honey, if you don't like the dinner, order something else. <clears throat> oh, I'm, I'm not, no, I'm not really hungry. The soul is wonderful. Have you thought about uh, including Emily Ann in the wedding? No, I haven't. I think it'd be a great idea if she took a part in it. Uh, we don't have to make that decision right now, but there are some decisions that we do have to make. Honey, do you think we... Do you want a minister, or do you want a... Stop it! Stop it! Excuse me? I can't marry you. There's not going to be a wedding. Well, well what are you talking about? Just it's stop. Not... Stop talking to me about judges and ministers. Donna, I don't want to see you anymore. Donna! Donna! What is it? Is she ill? I don't know. Donna! Donna! She isn't. Hey, you, uh, will you check her room and see if she's come in? Please. Yeah. Just check. Is she there? She, she's not there. Oh, great. That's great. What's going on? I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm sorry. Uh, don't worry about anything. I'm sure she's fine. I'll, I'll find her. Wait a second. Did you guys get in a fight or something? 